The camera is one of the standout features on the iPhone 14. However, some users notice the camera app can be slow or unresponsive at times. If your iPhone 14 camera is lagging when launched or when taking photos, there are a few troubleshooting steps you can take. Before we move on, please take a second to like our video or even share it with your friends who might have issues with their devices. It's a great help for us. Now let's jump right into our tips. Close unused apps. Having too many apps open in the background can consume system resources and slow down the camera. So swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop in the middle to view the apps that are still running in the background. Swipe up on each app preview to close them one after another. This frees up RAM and processing power. Check the storage. If your iPhone storage is nearly full, it can cause system-wide sluggishness, including camera app lag. Review storage under settings, general, and then tap iPhone storage. If you only have a few gigabytes left, try to delete unused apps, photos, and media to free up space. Update to latest iOS version. There are times when lags and freezes are caused by outdated firmware. So make it a point to run on the latest version of iOS to have optimal performance. To do that, launch settings and select general. On the next screen, tap software update. Allow your iPhone to scan for available updates and if there's one available, download and install it. Reset all settings. Resetting all settings restores the iPhone and camera app to their original factory condition, clearing any problematic settings that may affect the camera. This gives the camera app a fresh start, which could resolve any software issues causing the lags. To reset all settings on your iPhone 14, launch the settings app and then select general. Scroll down and tap transfer or reset iPhone and then select reset. Select reset all settings and then follow a few on-screen instructions to proceed with the reset. After the reboot, continue using the camera to know if the problem is fixed. If not, then you should consider doing the factory reset or having your iPhone checked. We hope that this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.